Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A Level Further Maths. Here we're on the final video for the AS course of Further Maths, the core section. We're on exercise 9F and we are reflecting a line in a plane. So let's how, see how we do this. So we've got an equation of a line that's written in Cartesian form. I hate Cartesian form, I'll try and convert it into vector form as soon as I can. And we have the equation of a plane, it's in Cartesian form again. I'd much rather that be in um, scalar product form, but I'll write that out later. We want to find the line L2 that is a reflection of line 1 in the plane pi. Um, so let's go and find that um, equation of that line. So what we have is a plane. Let's write out the Cartesian form of this um, line here into vector form and it's going to go through the plane, intersect it at some point, and come straight back out again. So what we want to do is we want to effectively find this line 2 that's going to go through the same point of intersection, but be reflected from top to bottom and bottom to top on the other side. So this is effectively what we want to find, and the strategy that we're going to use is that we need two points on L2 to be able to calculate its equation. One of these points will be where L1 meets the plane, so we're going to use this point here. That's going to be one of our points to find the equation of the plane. The other can be a reflection of a point on L1, as we saw in the previous video. So all we're going to do in this case here is it's nothing more difficult than finding the intersection between a plane and a line, and then reflecting a, uh, a coordinate in a plane, and then connecting those two results together and that will find the equation of your line. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the coordinate 2, 4, minus 6. We might as well take the easiest coordinate that we know is definitely on this line 1 and we're going to reflect that in the line, in the plane, sorry, to get a coordinate down here. Remember we need to go through a midpoint coordinate of m and then double that value of lambda to get to the bottom. So we're going to reflect this point down to here we're going to find out the intersection between the plane and the line and then just connect these two up together and that will be the equation of line 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's find out first where L1 meets the plane. So all that we need to do there is just make sure that we substitute in the equation of the line into the equation of the plane. So this can be done. We'll need to rearrange um, this equation of a line into a single vector first. So 2 plus 2 lambda, 4 minus 2 lambda, and minus 6 plus lambda. Uh, we'll then need to substitute it into the equation of the plane. So what we'll do is we can substitute in the x coordinates where the x one is, the y coordinates where the y letter is, and the z coordinates where the z letter is. So here, here, and here. Let's work out the value of lambda. So lambda is equal to 2. So the point A is going to be specifically where specifically where the lambda value is equal to 2. So let's substitute that in and we get 6, 0, minus 4. So this coordinate A here is at 6, 0, minus 4. So we've got one of our coordinates that we're going to find the equation of the line between. Now we have to reflect the point 2, 4, minus 6 in the plane. So we can do this from using the previous example. What we did there was we start, we, we created a, a different equation, let's call it this dotted line here. It had the vector equation starting at 2, 4, minus 6, and it had the direction vector of 2, minus 3, 1, because it is travelling in a perpendicular direction to be reflected through the plane. So the coordinate m is at 2, 4, minus 6, plus lambda lots of 2, minus 3, 1, the direction vector that's going straight from p to q, for some value of lambda. Okay, so we need to work out this value of lambda such that the midpoint here is going to meet the plane, it's going to intersect with the plane. So what we'll do then is we'll combine m into a single vector, and then substitute it in, to the equation of the plane again. Okay, so 2 plus 2 lambda, substitute that in for x, 4 minus 3 lambda, substitute that in for y, and minus 6 plus lambda, substitute that in for z. Reflect it in the plane, and we get 11 over 7. So it takes 11 over 7 lambdas to get from here to here. Let's now double that value of lambda, so 22 over 7, to get from p to q. 
Okay. So Q is going to be twice this. So Q is going to be at 2, 4, minus 6, plus 22 over 7, lots of 2, minus 3, 1. And that's going to give us Q, the coordinate 58 over 7, minus 38 over 7, and minus 20 over 7. So we've now got two points that lie on this line L2. And as soon as we've got two points, we can work out the equation of the line. So now that we've got uh, A and Q, we can work out the direction vector by working out Q minus A, or um, finding how to get from A to Q. So Q is going to be 58 over 7, minus 38 over 7, minus 20 over 7, and then we subtract the coordinates for A, and calculating this we're going to get 16 over 7, minus 38 over 7, and 8 over 7. So that's going to be our direction vector. So our final answer here, we're really nearly done here, is going to be what well, we can times by 7 over 2 to... Um, to um, it's a direction vector, so we can scale and multiply it up if we want to. Uh, so the equation for line 2 is r equals 6, 0, minus 4. So where does that come from? That's come from this coordinate here, starting position here, plus lambda, lots of the direction vector to get to q, which is 8 minus 19, 4. So this here is the equation of our line. So to summarize here, what did we do? The first thing we did was we intersected the line that we were given with the plane to find coordinate A. We then reflected P in the plane to get coordinate Q. We then connected A and Q together to give the equation of our line. Okay. So that is all we have to do. Your turn to have a go at this final question here of further maths AS level. Pause the video and try this one out. Alright then, I hope you have had a good go at this. If you haven't had a good go at it and if you haven't persevered through, then please do pause the video again and try again. I don't want you to just watch the video and um, get the answers for free. So this is the equation of our line here. It has a vector equation of 2 minus 1, 2 plus lambda lots of 4 minus 3, 4. And we want to reflect it into this line here. Okay, now what we're going to do first is find this intersection coordinate A. So the first thing for us to do is find A. So what we're going to do there is substitute in the equation of the line into the equation of the plane. So 2 plus 4 lambda, minus 1 minus 3 lambda, and 2 plus 4 lambda, dotted with... 1 minus 1 minus 1, and this is going to equal 4. Let's dot product it out first. Let's do the numbers first. 2 plus 1 is 3, minus 2 is 1, and then do the lambda values. 4 plus 3 is 7, minus 4 is 3. So plus 3 lambda equals 4. Uh, subtract 1 from both sides. We get 3 lambda equals 3. So lambda in this case is equal to 1. So the position coordinate for A is going to be when lambda is equal to 1. So that's going to be at 6 minus 4, 6. No, uh, 2 plus 4, yeah, 6. Okay. So that's how we find coordinate A. And now we want to do a little bit more of calculation here. We want to reflect P through the... Mm, midpoint M that's on the plane down to Q. So the first thing we're going to do is find the coordinate M. And the coordinate M is going to start at the position vector of 2 minus 1, 2, and then add lambda, let's use a different letter, mu, lots of the direction vector that's perpendicular to the plane. So this is going to be 1 minus 1 minus 1. Okay, so 1 minus 1 minus 1. Combine this into one single vector and we get 2 plus lambda minus 1 minus lambda and 2 minus lambda. We now want to find the intersection between this line that we've just created, this dotted line, and the plane. So let's intersect it with the plane. So coordinate M is going to be at um, 2 plus lambda minus 1 minus lambda 2 minus lambda, 
dotted with, uh, so we're going to substitute it into the plane, so this is our equation we're substituting into, 1 minus 1 minus 1, this is going to equal 4 eventually, but let's dot product it out first, so we're going to get 2 plus 1 is 3, minus 2 is uh, 1, let's do the mu's now, so it's going to be mu plus another mu, that's 2 mu plus another mu, that's 3 mu, equals um, 4. So in this case here, we can subtract 1 from the other side. And we get 3, so mu is also going to equal 1. These numbers are working out quite nicely here. So m is going to be at the coordinate of 3, minus 2, uh, 1. Okay, so that's the coordinate for m. Now all we have to do is find out how we get from... Uh, sorry, no, we now... M is useless to us. We want Q, sorry, we want Q. So let's double lambda now. So double the mu value to 2. And now let's work out what Q is. So Q is going to be when lambda is equal to 2. So substitute it into this equation. We're going to get 4 minus 3 and 0. So that is Q. That's much better. So now we want to work out the direction vector to get from A to Q. So 4 minus 3, 0. Subtract the coordinate for A. 6 minus 4, 6. Do this subtraction. We get 4 minus 6 is minus 2. Minus 3 plus 4 is 1. 0 minus 6 is minus 6. So that's the direction vector from A to Q. So now our final answer is going to be the starting position, which is at A. So that's 6 minus 4, 6. Add lambda lots of minus 2, 1, minus 6. And that is our final answer. So just to summarize what we did there, the first step that was this calculation here was finding the intersection between the line L1 and the plane. The second calculation that was done here was finding the reflection of the starting point on line L1 in the plane. So we reflected effectively 2 minus 1, 2 into the plane down towards Q. And then the next thing we did at this stage here was we just worked out the direction vector from A to Q. And then we summarized here by uh, creating a line that went from A to Q, so it started at position A, 6 minus 4, 6, and then went to minus 2, 1 minus 6 to get to Q, and that's the direction vector there. Okay, so that's the final answer of this section here. Now, so please, please do have lots of practice on exercise 9F. If you've gone through these videos and haven't had any practice, make sure you go back and have some practice. There's a huge mix exercise of this afterwards as well. And this isn't the end really. You've also got contextualized questions that you need to know how to pull out the maths from that context. So practice, practice, practice on those as well because that's an exam board favorite uh, topic. Vectors is, is an exam board favorite topic to so include a context in the question of. Okay, so practice, practice, practice. Make sure you're good at these. Um, feel free to go back and watch any of the videos that you've seen previously um, to, to see which uh, technique you need to use. Thanks very much for watching.